Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting three autumn ivory Encore azaleas. This is actually at one of my neighbor's houses. Uh, I've done a couple videos here. Uh, recently, I did a, a camellia walkthrough video here. This is a great spot for these Encore azaleas right here next to this driveway because it's slightly elevated. And in my clay soil in my area, they don't particularly like wet feet. And uh, so we either have to mound them up some or in this case, I got a little bit of slope to work with. So this is gonna be a perfect spot for these. Autumn Ivory is one of my favorite Encore Azaleas. It only gets about two and a half to three feet tall. Super, super low maintenance plants because of that. It'll get a little wider than tall over time. They're evergreen. I'm shooting this in January and uh, they flower multiple times a year. Uh, they're in flower now in January because they, they have a very confusing thing going on. As you can see, I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt in Raleigh, North Carolina in on uh, January 13th. So you can, uh, you can see we're all confused uh, right this minute, but great time for planting them and they're in an elevated space. So despite the fact that it's been raining a lot recently and the soil's very wet, I'm not at all worried about uh, drowning them. And so he's got leaf, he, use, he goes and gets the city's uh, leaf mold. Uh, that's the mulch that he uses here. It's really great. It breaks down, improves the soil a lot uh, over the time it's here. It's not broken down quite enough for me. So I'm gonna pull a lot of it back and I'm gonna use some pine bark soil conditioner that I brought in a uh, pot right here to mix in with this clay that's underneath this, uh, this leaf mold. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna get started on it. I'm just gonna pull this leaf mold back just a bit. I'll wrap it back around it after I'm done, but I'll be super careful not to put it up on the plant when I put it back. This is really easy digging, very different than any other place I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, my yard is just solid. Uh, clay. He's really worked on this a lot uh, over the time he's been here. So uh, much easier, much easier working here. Uh, but this takes time. This is somebody who's put the work and effort into, uh, you know, moving into a property where it was probably very, very difficult to work in and has uh, really, uh, really improved it. Um, I'm using, this is a, a five inch wide trenching shovel that you'll always see me use in these videos. Uh, makes, makes digging really quite a bit easier than trying to use a full, a full size spade. Like I say, I'm just gonna take some of this bark. This is just a fine, fine ground pine bark. Um, a compost would work uh, as well. But if you can find pine bark soil conditioner where you live, and especially in the Southeast, probably in the Northwest, they have some sort of bark product as well. Uh, I'll take him out of the container. I always hold the container upside down like this and just pull the pot off like that. Uh, azaleas always have this really fibrous root system. As you can see right here, see that? Um, I'll break a little bit of that up. I don't have to go too crazy on them, but uh, I'm gonna set him down in there and just make sure I can use my shovel. I can lay my shovel across the ground right here and just check and make sure that uh, I am raising this azalea, the top of that root ball, slightly above the grade. So if I lay my shovel across right here, the shovel's up about an inch and a half, two inches, and if it's level right there, I'm happy with that. That means the plant's elevated above the grade and I'm not gonna drown it. Uh, I'm gonna mix that bark back in as I go. Autumn ivory is a little ground cover of an azalea, so it's probably easier sometimes to do this with your hands with a ground cover type plant. It's got limbs that are low around it so we don't break them. I'm just gonna squeeze them in just like that. I'm gonna push this leaf mold back around like this without going up on the plant. I'm not putting anything up on the root ball of that plant. Just like that. And that is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna get those other two in the ground just like that. So that was super easy digging out here, despite the fact that this is a really heavy clay. He's really worked, uh, worked on it hard over time. You can really tell uh, this uh, leaf mold that he gets from the city of Raleigh. Uh, works really, really well as a mulch. It will have a little bit of trash in it here or there. There was a little piece of plastic here. That's kind of normal when you're dealing with something like this. Obviously, there was a bag in the leaves that they, the city got up and it ended up in the material. 
uh, no big deal really um, if you if you if you do acquire this as mulch and it is inexpensive uh, like I say these are in the perfect spot they're gonna be well drained up here on this hill in this clay soil if you have sand to your soil this probably isn't that big of a concern of yours but in my area it kind of is with azaleas we, we, we can we can drown them if we plant them flush in an area that stays wet in the winter time L really love autumn ivory like I say it's the a really great dwarf and he gets enough sunlight here that'll keep them low and compact as well. Encores like about four to six hours of direct sun. Uh, they're very shade tolerant and very sun tolerant at the same time, but somewhere in the middle is just the perfect sp spot to keep them low and compact and full and blooming regularly. These would normally bloom in my area sometime in March, uh, maybe into early April, depending on how long the winter went. This is a very abnormal thing we have going on right now and after that i would give them a light shearing or haircut if they needed it uh, this is a super compact variety i don't think it's going to really need very much pruning but that would be the time to do it it can uh, i can use an organic for a slow release fertilizer on these toward the end of winter or any kind of slow release fertilizer once a year and that's it um, they'll need to be um, monitored this first spring and summer there's not a lot of root competition around here so they're not going to get a uh, they're not going to get beat on by other plants. They got their own root space here. So uh, once once they're in the ground this first year, uh, with the way he's improved the soil and he keeps it mulched, um, I don't think he'll have to do a lot of ongoing watering on them. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, autumn, like I say, autumn ivory is one of my absolute favorites. I love little low doming evergreen plants like this that just require very little maintenance. Thanks for watching.